This is the amazing village of La Roque-Cajac, one of the most beautiful villages of France at the edge of the Dordogne River, just south of Brive-la-Gaillarde. The region has some very delicious specialties. The Brive market is perhaps the liveliest of this year's Tour de France route. The best seasonal food of the region from fruit, vegetables, cheese and meat is on display. This is Le Gourmet Corésien, a shop that specializes in selling duck, everything duck, from the neck to the liver to the gizzard. With the gizzard, people at home make a very delicious salad. And then the piece de résistance in the duck is the magret. It is the duck fillet, usually very big. It is often roasted, pink, and then sliced very thinly with a sauce. Or sometimes it is put into chaslik, very delicious with some vegetables on the barbecue. And then the second big cut is the leg. It is often cooked slowly in duck fat. It is poached and then reheated with some potatoes or in the cassoulet. The duck fat is, is the fat that the locals use in cooking for their potatoes, their roast, and absolutely everything. And then there is the very special things that they make with foie gras, like the macaron, or there is those figs that are filled with foie gras, or there is a terrain where they put the foie gras in it. The foie gras is one of those gourmet things in France that people love. It's a little bit controversial, but people love it. This is the, the confit fig with the, the foie gras. And I understand why people love it. It's um, the contrast of texture is extraordinary. The softness of the foie, the crunchiness and the sweetness of the fig, it's uh, quite, quite an experience. Limousin cherries are really superb, and this cherry and hazelnut gâteau is outstanding. First, I beat 150 grams of caster sugar and the finely grated zest of one lemon, 150 grams of batter, until well combined. Then I add three eggs, one at a time, and beat until smooth. Next, I incorporate 150 grams of self-raising flour and add 50 grams of almond meal and 80 grams of crushed toasted hazelnuts. I transfer the cake mix to a 22 cm battered and floured lift out cake tin. I push in about 30 juicy pitted cherries and sprinkle the cake with two tablespoons of caster sugar. Bake it in the oven at 170 degrees for about 50 minutes. Once it's cooked, it's good to rest the cake for 15 minutes before turning it out. It looks great glazed with a little apricot jam. Served with cream, this gâteau aux cerises et aux noisettes is so good. This is the Moulin de Moutier, the windmill of Moutier in the wheat growing region of the Beauce. And tomorrow we find out why the French bread is so good. Mm -hmm.